putting the final touches on a popular Korean dish. But this version has a special ingredient. This lettuce wasn't grown in a field, but here. This is a testing facility for City Farm, a Korean company that developed technology to grow fruits and vegetables indoors. Row after row of leafy lettuce can be grown, safe from disease and inclement weather, right in the middle of Seoul. The system uses hydroponics, which grows the vegetables directly in water. Energy-efficient lights serve as artificial sunshine to boost growth. This, says the company, is the future of farming. This system can replace the traditional vegetable farms. Considering recent extreme weather, this could help us prepare for the future. A recent cabbage shortage made headlines when it threatened Korea's national dish of kimchi. Bad weather was to blame. It's something that would not happen with this type of farming, says the company. At this supermarket in Seoul, it doesn't get fresher than this. The farm is actually inside the supermarket. The produce is grown right in front of the consumer. Picked, packaged, and ready for sale within minutes. Urban farming cuts down the cost and energy needed to bring produce from the farm to the consumer. It also means that the produce can be harvested all year long. But creating this controlled environment does require energy. Now, the response from customers so far has been positive. It's fresher, crisper, and tastes better. That's why I prefer it. The lettuce has been selling out, but with its limited stock, it's more expensive than vegetables grown on a farm. A lot of people love the idea, and with the organic food boom in Korea, people care more about health. Seeing where their food comes from is also a major selling point, says the supermarket. Seoul citizens are getting more concerned with health issues. As the society becomes more affluent, more people care about what they're eating, so they want to grow their own food. Now bringing the farm to the city is still a new concept in Seoul, but with more than half of the world's population now living in cities, this could one day be the norm. Christy Lu Stout, CNN, Hong Kong.